<laughs> okay, guys, um, we got to start working with this. So, you got your tissue box. I want to keep the frame. Okay, the frame's very important. The only thing I might want to remove is the plastic on our diorama box. Our goal is to create the ice cake. I don't want you guys buying materials. Shh, please. I'm not talking over, we're being video recorded. And that's an entire class. So, you want to grab your ruler. See this? And you want to start measuring it. I would say for a good frame, you want to go half an inch in width. So I'm going to do this with you guys. You see, I'm using a Sharpie. We're going to paint over this again because we don't want to see the company's name on your box when we paint it over because we want to create, we're making a diorama. Okay. Now, I'm asking you guys just to do the ice cave. You have no materials at home or anything you can repurpose. Pedro, please. Okay, and you guys are gonna be. So, I uh, see what I'm doing, guys. Can you see the two dots? I did the two dots here for my measurement, half an inch, to cut out the frame for my box. Uh, we're, think of yourself as a film to, uh, stage director, and you are creating a stage for either a play or a movie. So. You do have an option to do whatever you guys want, but talk to me first. You know, not yet. Remember, we're being recorded, and I'm asking you guys to keep it G-rated. I don't want you guys giving me a cardiac arrest. So I did my line here. I'm going to cut this with a stencil knife next. Okay. Okay, this is step one, getting the your diorama box ready and I'm using a plain empty tissue box okay so I'm doing this video for you guys in R2 so you do have another video but I'm doing another video step by step it's not perfect but we'll fix this later on as we go see that guys there's the line you're gonna grab a stencil knife bring me an ID with a picture ID Okay, see this guys? I'm gonna start cutting this right now. So you guys here in class, you guys here in class, see this? I put about half an inch, I did my trace. You guys see this? Folks, you're gonna... I see your inch. Okay, I grabbed the Sharpie, made the line, and do this. Now, here's the deal, if you have a shoe box, if you wanna close it in, but it means you're gonna to have to cut out the frame, you can do it this way. Or use the frame as a platform like she did over there. Let me give me a second. Uh, one of your classmates, and I am totally blown away, but some people can, I did my ice cake in 56 minutes. This young lady did it overnight. She did a date, uh, a nursery. So I am totally blown away. So, so I'm, this is probably some people's uh, mastered me art media, dioramas. It's a natural feel for stagecraft, for my films. So now I'm gonna start cutting. Don't hold it to your chest like I am. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. Put it on the flat surface, even though Mr. Novels does not have that anymore. And you're gonna start cutting where the Sharpie line is very carefully. There you guys go. Here we go. We need this. If, if something snaps or breaks, we'll glue it back together using the hot glue gun. But we really do need this. Okay. Because we want to use this as a lid to close our diorama. This is our first uh, wall stage for your diorama box. Oh, dang. And be careful. Always make sure your fingers are not in the way so you don't want to cut yourself. So you guys can see this. There you guys go. See that? Christ. Also, be careful. Do not destroy the box. I'm going to have to glue this section. I just noticed it went loose. Okay. I will have to hot glue the box back together, but that's okay. Bless you. Let him see this, guys? So, I'm cutting this like my mom cuts, which is not a safety thing. Always cut away from yourselves. Okay. I'm going to have to hot glue this section to keep the frame. It's important to save the frame of the box as well as the lid that you're cutting out right now. You're asking yourself, why do we need to cut it out? Well, we need this 
so we can close in our set. Remember guys, I'm still being video recorded. So be careful. Okay, I'm gonna start over here instead. Oh yeah, yeah, not good. Don't worry if it doesn't come out straight. I'm kind of rushing it for you guys. I'm just trying to see why it's not cutting. Try to keep it straight as possible, but don't worry. Um, just in case, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. And I am going to cut out the section by scissors because it would probably be better this way. There we go. And we'll fix this. We'll make it a close. Uh, we'll make the frame a little bit stronger with a hot glue gun. There we go. See that? So I had to use scissors. I'm going to have to hot glue this because it's already falling apart. Because There we go. Very gently. Very gently. So now I'm going to grab some glue or tape. And so now this is open. Now I can figure out where I want to place my light source. But before I do this, I want to remove the plastic. See that? There's a little plastic here. So using this, I'm going to cut it out. So I don't need this plastic at all. It's more of a nuisance. Okay. Here you guys go. So now I'm just going to start. But I'm going to make this frame. So now when I want to close it in, let me get rid of the plastic first. Okay. Ouch. Don't want to turn. I'm already ripping too much of cardboard. I don't want to go missing. There we go. Ouch. No, I'm okay. I'm just a little bit nervous. Don't want to rip too much. Very gently. You guys can see I'm getting rid of this plastic I really don't need. Put it in the garbage can. Now I'm going to glue and tape this. Because when I close it in, I'm going to use this as my new closed frame, like a TV. Think of it this way, like a television from the old days. So now, and I'm, I'm going to paint the outside too. But I'm going to keep this. So I might just start cutting, making a frame, make it look like cell sites over the mouth of a cave later on. But again, now it's open. Now I have to figure out where do I, next step will be, where do I put my hole for my light source? My advice is always put it on the side because when you put it forward, what it does is it shows, it gives away the secret. So most film directors will put their lights this way, going diagonal or in the back this way too, going never on the back because it destroys the illusion. of. And we want to make this look, create an, excuse me guys, I'm still recording. We want to create an illusion that this is much longer than it actually is. Like if we were an actual, if we were a little person doing a movie set. Okay, that's basically it. I hope I can, uh, we'll make another video showing you guys the next step the following day, okay? So, let's see. So Elijah, do I just hit the, uh, Elijah, do I just hit the cube and stop and hopefully it gets recorded?